uh, 71.5 uh, Hampshire pairing uh, male pig here uh, be another product of uh, uh, the group of breads that uh, we got from Schwecky. Uh, pedigree is uh, 51.3, which I, I believe is a no stranger son back on a quitting time sow. And, uh, you know, we talked about this pig uh, as we pictured yesterday. Uh, I mean, a, a neat looking one that's uh, really soft and pliable through the midsection of his body. I think just looks like a good feeding one that uh, you could do a lot of different things, uh, get pretty creative uh, with the feed bucket there. And I, I do think that this hog, uh, you, you know, there's a, a lot of those uh, uh, county shows kind of that late uh, late August, early September. Man, I think he'd uh, he, he'd be spot on for that kind of uh, uh, time frame and could get pretty competitive. Yeah, just a good hog. I mean, again, just a, a no holes problem, free kind of hog that has a good look. That, that one's length in front of his blade's excellent. Uh, like he's a sharp look, but yet a stout jawline, a heavy bone kind of pig. It's very wide chested, but stays square in his elbow and 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 forearm area there. Uh, he's good in his uh, turn of rib and body, and, and he's a muscular hog behind with a big hind leg. And that one has, uh, truthfully, if you've got a classification show down in the southwest or whatever there, that uh, that early fall type yes. of range, if you can hold on to that one, he looks like a, a genuine Hampshire. I mean, his, kind of his head and, and, uh, and ear, ear set, everything looks like that, and he's got, you know, kind of crossbred build, which is kind of where you want them all to look anyway. And if you're in that classification type deal, that, that would be an option there for sure. Very nice belted pig there in a 71 day five.